Women of Reddit, what is the hardest part of being a woman? For me it's a combination of all the little things that build up. They're all connected. But if I had to pick only one, it's the final boss of nobody ever believing you about anything. I'm always questioned on everything, even things that I'm literally an expert in, by people who have absolutely no credentials. And I'm questioned on the reality of the other things I mentioned before. Could my chronic pain actually be that bad? Am I sure that my ex was taking advantage of me? Everyone wants to play devil's advocate when the devil is doing a fine job advocating for himself. Unfortunately there are lots of things but what comes to mind for me the most are women still have to deal with double standards, things that are acceptable and okay for men, women are still judged on. When women are victims, we are blamed. Misogyny is real and alive right now more than ever and we have to deal with that. Don't believe me just go to any social media comment section. We constantly live in a state of hypervigilance, needing to always be aware of our surroundings and be one step ahead. Honestly, it's exhausting and I've only mentioned the tip of the iceberg. The expectation that I'm supposed to melt over anything baby related. I don't like babies or children. I don't want babies or children. I don't have any nurturing feelings towards them. I'm sick of being told that I just need to have some of my own, because then it'll be different and it'll change me. Firstly it's far worse and more dangerous to regret having a child, than to regret not having a child. And secondly, not wanting children and not feeling nurturing towards them isn't something that automatically needs to be fixed about me or any other person. Being seen as an object seriously, men stop being fucking creeps. I always cringe when I see their babbling about how they want be ooh by us. It's so disgusting. All the BS with menstruation. Double standards women are so emotional yet angry men are unemotional etc. Also I hate how men have to insert their problems to these kinds of discussions almost constantly like they want to one-up us. Guys, we know, men and women struggle with different problems but you don't have to constantly remind us when the discussion is about women. You know what the worst thing is? That despite the societal pressure to maintain a full-time career, you also have to do the majority of housework and childcare, even though you're technically working the same amount of time as your partner. Women are expected to do the majority of care work in their families, they do most of the invisible labor, and they're expected to do it all at the cost of their well-being. On top of this, you're expected to have children, have to have a period, and also have to give birth. It's baloney. Learning about all the extra sacrifices we have to make around reproduction due to the body we were born in paying for period products, dealing with regular pain, scheduling birth control and gynecologist appointments, dealing with side effects, pregnancy childbirth, nursing, etc. Then learning that there are political groups that don't think that's enough of a burden and want to make things even harder for us by taking away any semblance of autonomy we have over our bodies or reproduction. I can't tell you how many guy friends I've heard say they love living in the cities. But, I live in the cities too and I get yelled at by gross fucks once a week. I rarely feel safe. Just two days ago I decided to take a shortcut through a parking lot thinking I could just walk quickly through. And of course some frat guys were taking a smoke break and yelled at me super loudly about how they licked my bits. It was fucking disgusting. Fuck people. Constant pressure to be a great girlfriend wife mother daughter sister friend etc. Be thin but not too thin, instead we need to be healthy. Can't be fat, but a little meat on the bones is okay. Can't dress too sexy or you're a slut. Or if you're a cover then you're a prude. Be smart but not too smart cause then you're a know-it-all. Pressure to keep a clean happy home but also have a career. Make sure our partners are satisfied so they don't cheat. Being totally disregarded and ignored while still being expected to carry the same load as a man. But I am still expected to carry all of the mental and emotional load. Being thought of as a weaker sex but told that men are too fragile to do basic life tasks. Being told that I am nothing without a man or children. And finally if I'm not happy with any of this then there is something wrong with me. Everything gets connected back to a man somehow. Our experiences? Well it's not as bad, have you been a man? I wish I can dress how I want, but I feel unsafe. Well men can't control themselves. I wish healthcare took me more seriously. Well men work more harder jobs or dangerous jobs. You get the idea. Not to devalue their own experiences, but it's like can we focus on us for once? Period. I'm honestly lucky my period isn't worse. I am lucky enough not to deal with cramps. But I still have to deal with constant gushes, anxiety, and just feeling dread when I wake up. In all shows where there's a female main character adventuring or anything, 
I always wonder how they could possibly survive that without a huge backpack of pads, and a bathroom every hour or so. This isn't the hardest part, but in the sciences our work is stolen and the credit given to men. It's happened to nearly every woman I know who's worked in a lab run by a man. When I mean stolen, it's data collected, graphs and reports and maps, act. 100 made by a woman, zero credit given, like we never existed on the project whilst the men in our position get their fair credit. Aside from not being taken seriously by doctors, pregnancy. People will tell you your whole life that the moment you have sex, you will get and stop pregnant. Then when you actually start trying for real, it's a whole lot more difficult than what they tell you. Has to be the right time of the month, and a million other things have to go just perfectly. Three days and nights before periods start. First day of periods. Periods. One week every month of my life spent just being uncomfortable. Periods pain. Hormonal changes because of periods and how I have to be sleepless for two nights it's not a choice. When periods start but they don't really start and you are in the limbo for two three days. Periods. Being sexualized no matter what you do or wear, even as a kid. Knowing that many of the women you know and around you have been sexually harassed or assaulted in some way. Being called a whore for liking sex. Being called a slut and ugly when rejecting a guy. Not feeling safe when it's dark outside. Breasts. They stop you from doing so many things, and you get sexualized. Worst part is that no matter how much weight you lose, if it's genetics, you can only get surgery. I used to play football and stop due to my breasts bouncing around. Honestly sucks. I hate life as a woman. Everything related to our reproductive system. Periods. Hormonal cycles, contraceptives, pregnancy. Don't get me wrong, I love being a woman and I want to be a mother, I don't think those things are bad, but they're definitely very hard. Have you seen Barbie? She literally has a breakdown about this exact thing and it's 100 accurate. Nothing you do is right. Too fat too skinny. Too passive too bossy. It's impossible to just be yourself and not face intense criticism. Periods, I regret being a woman that first day of the month. It hits every time like the first time, like you can't get used with that. I can't imagine what being pregnant and carrying a baby can feel like. That must be worse. I guess for many of us is being sexualized since when you're underage and can't even understand what's going on. You end up with some trauma that sometimes makes you confused to even deal with simple human interactions. It's hard to pick one. I'd say all the issues related to our reproductive system. Horrible reactions to medication because they're designed for men and constant sexual harassment all share the top tier for me. Knowing there is a sizable portion of any population across all parts of the world who see me as a piece of property that can be brutalized or murdered for social transgressions. Gives a bit of anxiety. From talking to my friends, it sounds like the menstrual cycle is a real pain in the ass. It sounds painful as hell, it manipulates their moods, changes what they want to eat, what they want to do etc. Time of the month. But the thing is if we don't get one then we would probably think oh crap am I pregnant? We just can't win. And no we can't hold it in like urine it just blobs out. Honestly, the expectation of filling the role of a homemaker, but also in this economy having to work. No chance I love or get to be stay at home but the embedded bias is irritating. The perception from men that your life is cherries and pie. They seem to think that we have it easy and get cash thrown at us. Lol I wish would make bill paying and working easier. Periods. But the thing is if we don't get one then we would probably think WTF am I pregnant? We just can't win and no we can't hold it in like you're and it just blobs out. Healthcare being based on men and never getting a diagnosis because it's just hormones or have you considered you're taking it or pregnancy while you're not pregnant? Constant vigilance. Men are the most dangerous people to women and we have to condition ourselves to not set you off or reject you lest you decide to murder rape us. Apparently defining the word woman itself is hard nowadays if you want to avoid being labeled a turf. Women deserve so much better than they get from the world, honestly. Probably knowing that in most of the world women are viewed as property or sexual objects, not as human beings with feelings, hopes and dreams just like a man. The oligi paired with everything is based on men. Periods are not fun. Hormones are not fun. Wrong doses of medication or no medication is not fun. Honestly climbing the corporate ladder and people assume a large part of my success is due to my looks. I worked my ass off. I deserve to be here. The fact that most of the responsibilities eventually falls on our shoulders once we grow up. And having to deal with hair fall problems every day. Crying face. Crying face. Every male friend I've had has tried to make a move. It sucks to know they're not in it for the friendship. 
they're just waiting for their chance, as a general statement period and menopause. For me personally it's a cost impossible physical toll of being on birth control for 35-40 year. Realizing you will always be the weaker physical sex and it is the men in your society who could at any point be a very real danger to you. Being constantly judged for our life choices. Apparently, not wanting children as a life choice, for whatever reason that may be, is bad. The infuriation that no matter how many times you try to explain to men what we go through of every single day. They still don't believe us. Cat calling sexual harassment sexual abuse being in constant fear of getting raped whenever I go out at night or by myself. Not fun. However the essence of our being is sexualized and objectified and it's so normalized many people fail to even see it as an issue. I'm a man. But my assumption would be how men often feel the need to answer for women as if they can't answer for themselves. Hard to pinpoint the hardest part, but periods really suck. I developed adenomyosis and my periods became atrocious. Having fat on your body anywhere. It's natural and society wants me to starve myself to fit their beauty standard. The competition that exists between women, who is prettier, slimmer, sexier. It's very disruptive to life. Periods. Anything else is deal withable and honestly easier than being a man in a modern liberal society. The greed men don't listen to women at all and it sucks that's why us women are having more gray hair every day. Invisible labor. Everything extra that gets done, at home or at work, that doesn't get credit paid for. Being objectified, sexualized, and never feeling completely safe when you are alone outdoors. Not being able to live your life without worrying about being attacked or taken advantage of.